Senator Mar Morgan McGarvey is here, though, and we are always appreciative when he stops by. Senator, hello. I know how busy you are. Thank you for running in here, but Wait Free News, Start Imagination Library here in Kentucky because it's Dolly Parton's program. She knows how important it is for a child to have a book in their hand from the very time they can even look at a word. You've got kids. Yes. You've got twins. I've got, I've got three kids. So we have the twins who are in fourth grade now, believe it or not. And then we have little Greta, who's three years old. You know what? I forgot about little Greta. Greta. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweet pea. But your children love to read. You yes. know how important it is. Imagination Library started off going to, I guess you could say, the zip codes most in need, right? You weren't accepting that. No, no, it, it, it's a great program. And yes. I mean, Dolly Parton deserves so much credit and praise for coming up with this. Just the idea of it's so powerful to have books in the homes. But we were limited by what we could do here in Kentucky with yeah. a partnership with we Wave 3 We didn't have Help. the money. Right, didn't have the money. And, and Dolly herself was putting in money, money from the foundation. But this year in the Kentucky state budget, we were able to secure uh, close to a million dollars in funding for the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. It's going to take this program statewide. Woohoo! I know. Yeah. You hear him Cindy? Uh oh, she's going to get you for trees. That's you right. know that That's right. when you That's walk right. out of here. Um, I mean, it's important. And, and, you know, this sounds crazy. I can remember during a, doing a pass the cash, and a young mother handed me her baby. I'll try not to get emotional. And this. And, she said, I don't have money. Maybe I shouldn't have had them. And we went, whoa, 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 you got a family, even if you don't have a family. So I called my mama, because that's what I do. And she came running with food, clothes, and then she goes, oh, no, with this look on her face, like, I thought, what, mama, what? And she takes off. I don't know what she's doing. Do you know what she comes back with? A book. A book. The baby's like a week old. I'm like, Mom, the baby can't read. And my mother says, the mother reads to this baby until this baby figures out how important it is, and then that baby will read back to its mother. It, gen it is honestly the foundation yes. of success if you can start early enough. It is, and you know, uh, there's study after study that shows just having books in the home being read to by an adult uh, makes you more ready for kindergarten, which is something we struggle with here in Kentucky. And I think what's great about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library is they take the guesswork out. So if you're part of the program, any child is eligible. And from the ages of zero to five, every month you receive a book. But the books are curated by child development experts. And not only that, and look, being a parent is hard, yes, right? Please. So, yes. you know, not, you, you get the books to read, but what's great is even in the books themselves, they have tips on how parents can read to their children and what they can point out in the book and what questions they can ask that really engage the child and help them learn. I think that's what helps get that kindergarten readiness going. So we are so excited to be expanding this program, but I will tell you, Dawn, there is still work to do. The private partners are incredibly valuable. We need and we gotta, partners. Yeah. Anybody out there watching who wants to be part of this, Tell them, like, what can they do? We still need money, yes. but we need partners. Well, and, and we're, we're taking it statewide, but it's still not getting to every child yet. 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 And it, the keyword is yet. That takes some work from us, though. Again, I mentioned my mom. My mom keeps uh, stacks of registration forms, and when she meets a kid, uh, look, I'm laughing because Bill Shorey's over <laughs> there, but uh, my mother will literally go, oh, how old is that baby, and start questioning the parents. You've got to feel it out and become part of it. They can go online and do this, right? They can. They can sign You've up. You've got to register. You must register. Do you remember as a child when something came to you, and it could be a piece of trash, but it had your name on it? But it's yours. It's so important. Right? It gives these kids ownership over the books. It gives the family something to talk about. You know, one thing we've noticed, too, is because it's available to anybody in a community. So when Dolly Parton Imagination Library goes into a zip code or goes into a community, every child in that community is eligible. And what's great about that is it breaks down so many of the walls that are already in place. Yes. And when you get to kindergarten, you've read the same books. You have and common you talking points. That's right. You want to read. It is such a neat program. We're going to keep pushing for funding in the state legislature so contact your legislator and make sure they know how important this is we got it for this year we need to put it in the next budget as well and then keep looking for these public private partnerships and have the people of kentucky sign up 
All you have to do is sign up yeah. and your child gets one book per month that you can sit down. And I say read to them, that's the wrong way to look at it, that you can enjoy with them. Enjoy with them, read with them, you know, help let that child as they recognize a word, read back to you. That's right. We were only in particular zip codes, like only this zip code. Well, these are the only ones we can pay for right now. But if someone is watching right now, then that means they can sign up. That's correct. That's correct. And we, we are taking this, like I said, we're going to take it statewide. There's soon going to be entire counties that are eligible, not just zip codes. This is a big step forward getting the state funding. We still need the partners, but we're going to keep pushing on the state level. And look, Tennessee's done this. Ohio's done this. I think North Carolina is doing it right now. Kansas has expanded the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This program works. It's backed by experts, and it is such an easy way to invest in our kids and invest in our future. Yeah, we talk about what we want for our kids. We talk about what we don't want our kids to be doing. It all starts here. Imaginationlibrary.com slash Kentucky. You can go there to sign your child up. And mom and dad, you have to do it. You have to do it. Please, this is something free for your child. And if they, if somebody's watching and they say, I've got money to donate to this because I believe can they go there as well? They, you know, the great thing is organizations like the Dolly Parton Imagination Library that rely on the generosity of yes. others, um, they make it pretty easy to donate to them. Yeah. So that you can go online, you can find ways to donate to the Dolly Parton Imagination you can, Library. You, you, call, you can call here. Shannon Kogan uh, works with the yep. program. She's the face for the program here. You can call Shannon. You can call me. You can call anybody here at Wave 3 just to hammer home. And I know that parents want the best That's for right. their kids. I know today it's not easy because there are so many other ways your child can go, but this is a first step. This is a great first step. It puts books in your home with your child. It gives you something to do with your kid. It's a bonding experience it's that helps free. prepare them for lifelong learning. It's free. It's curated by experts. And I'll tell anybody out there worried too, Dolly Parton is very careful. This is all about the kids. There is no political angle to this. It is just about getting good books in the hands of kids. You start with the little engine that could, and then when you're five, the last book you get is Look Out Kindergarten, Here, Here I, I come. come. And it is a great way to set your child on that path to lifelong learning. Well, we appreciate you fighting for the kids and yes. stepping in to make this possible. And like you said, it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with politics. You're a dad. That's right. Um, first, foremost, and always, yeah. I'm a dad of You're three dad. young children, and it's so great to sit down and read with them. Yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank because you. Because you just, I'm telling you, you all don't understand how many times we said we have to get it to all the children. They've done it. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.